My dog is better prepared than most people. Stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for watching and welcome back. So as you guys know, I do a lot of uh, videos regarding being prepared, bug out bag videos. My username is Budget Bug Out, and I've never done a video on what my preps are for my dog, and he definitely has them. In fact, I challenge you to be better prepared than my dog who weighs 10 pounds. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to it. Just kind of keep in the back of your mind that whenever you bug out, you're probably going to want to have your best friend with you. And also just kind of keep in mind that a lot of uh, disaster shelters do not allow pets because of people's allergies. So just keep those things in mind whenever you prepare. So uh, first and foremost, you are going to need to have your important documents with you for your pet uh, because we are over here stationed abroad in Europe. We have a pet passport you can see right here as well as his updated collar with rabies shots and things of that nature. So uh, make sure that you do keep those in one safe location. Our dog, like I said, is very small. He's only 10 pounds. So his bug out bag might be different than your pet's bug out bag um, because what we do is we actually carry him with the, us on our person in the sling. Like I say, he's only 10 pounds and we've actually practiced in Austria carrying him for many, many miles or I guess kilometers as we say over here. But as far as his bag that he carries on his person, um, we have this little bag. It's from One Tigress, and I'll leave links in the description box down below for all of the items that we covered today. So you guys can check out those links if you're curious about any of this gear. But in this bag, uh, we have a, a few different items. So you can see on the outside, this has like Molly as well as uh, Velcro. So you can attach it, make it tactical if you like. But we just got an extra knife right here. We also have this little light, which can be steady on as well as uh, blinking just kind of add more visibility. And on this side, we have a location for doggy bags. And on the inside, we have his food and water bowl, as well as there's a Swiss Army knife with a tool to take ticks off of your pet. The other items that are in this main pocket, and like I said, usually we are just going to carry our dog in here, but in the meantime, we have some extra emergency food as well as emergency snacks because you're going to need to keep your calories up. If your dog is walking long distances, they're going to need to be able to continue to eat. In the front pocket right here, I have his little dinosaur toy as well as his rope toy. Um, keeping a morale up for dogs as well as people is important. And in this pocket, we have an extra harness as well as an extra leash because if something bad were to happen, it's good to have all of these items all together. That way you're just grabbing your bug out bags as well as your dog bug out bags. You're not looking for the, where's the leash, where's the next harness, things of that nature. And then his Rex Specs doggles are also in this pouch as well. Okay, in this front pocket right here, we have a, a few items. We have a canine air pollution mask with three filters. I highly recommend this, especially if you're in a place that has high pollution. Also a first aid kit for our dog. Um, highly recommend that you have a first aid kit for your pets. Also insect repellent band. We found this very useful in our trip in Austria. And then also having some paw balm for their feet because having good footwear is very important, but for dogs who hate to have footwear, having a way of protecting their feet is very important. And last but not least, there's a back pocket back here. And here we have some items that he can wear, such as a, a shirt for him to stay warm if it's a cooler month, as well as this little handkerchief thing he can wear dunked in water. That way he can stay cool if it's like the summertime. And then if it is the nighttime, he can wear this. It's nice, bright, and reflective. Uh, that way he can remain high fizz. But anyways, guys, these are the items that I have in my pet bug out bag. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, tell me which preps that you have for your dog. And if you like this video and learn anything from it, please click the like button, leave a comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. And remember, it pays to be repaired. 
God bless.